let this feeling grow Make this last forever, yeah, I know I remember when we first met, but it feels so long ago I see you shining through there, time to let it show Come around and take this boost so I can watch you glow You know there is no one out there, time to start the show It can be just you and me Becky, I hope you like this. It's over 9,000! Oh, shit. Here we go again. Becky, hold up. Let me get the checky. Band shirts all of my dressy. Throwing shade like Loch Nessie. Grab up my bucket, this is getting messy. I don't need this, it's petty. Don't care if you think I'm sexy. Miss me with that shit? Yeah, I put my heart on deck. Becky, what are you on? I have been smoking since dawn. Eric is making spaghetti while Ricky is mowing my lawn. Cherry, I'm moving on. Wear a tuxedo to prom. Watch the Star trek with Becky. Ignore all the lezzies and yawn. I don't mean no disrespect. I don't know what you expect. I just tried to make a song you guys would like and be impressed. Listen up if you feel depressed. Fuck that apartment complex. Make a change to your address while I make that rhythm flex. I am done being suppressed. I am done with second best. I don't want to save my progress by myself by my request take a look at your family crest set your soul up to invest keep the river inside your chest to keep that emo midwest i don't need all this aggression it only worsens my depression need a change in my profession it's a struggle just to carry on i don't need to have a mansion that is not my expectation I don't get all this fixation I'm getting out of this rotation Becky, she ain't got time for that You don't see her clapping back Got her luggage up on the rack Hypochondriac attack Don't wanna be that maniac I've been watching that Zodiac She is just a lumberjack But she got that life on track Try me, bitch I don't mean no disrespect I don't know what you expect I just try to make a song You guys will like and be impressed Listen up if you feel depressed Fuck that apartment complex Make a change to your address While I make that for the flex I am done being suppressed I am done with second best I don't want to save my progress by myself by my request Take a look at your family crest, set your soul up to a vest Keep the river inside your chest to keep that emo request Ah oh, shit FBI headquarters, this is Agent Frake speaking. Yes, I'd like to complain about some comments I'm receiving. Yeah? I really don't like them. I, I, uh -huh. There must be something we uh -huh. can do about that. Well, I don't see how I can. I don't like that. That's not good enough. Well, you just, just calm down. <laughs> look, let, let, just calm down. Okay. Jesus. Okay. 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 Look, I'll see what I can do, and I'll get back to you, okay? All right. Thanks for calling. Hey, Lisa. Answer my incomings for this afternoon. Another YouTuber call. I've got some shit to do. Trendsetter, shadow banner, copywriter. Look into my eyes when I flick my Zippo lighter. Born fighter, wear my gloves a little tighter. I'm a boomer, my computer has a typewriter. We won't have an issue if you keep the clean comments. If you got a grudge, yeah, you should probably drop it. I'm the one to call if you need a bitch to stop it. You can find me at your mom's playing Sonic. You can call me Frank. When I go to work, I drive a tank. You know I don't discriminate. I don't tolerate that common hate. Snakes in outer space. Fully funded by commercial breaks. Listen to me, I swear I'm not fake. You know that I will set you straight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, you gotta give it some time. 
Look, I've only one part that I just... Listen, if you don't want to do this, then I can't. Okay, then. Goddamn YouTuber. Catch me in my octagon, I'm from the FBI. I am not a very nice guy, confiscating your supply. You can call me the Iguanodon, I'm banning trolls like flies. Get along with this automaton or I will make you cry. Let that money stack up, call some backup when you can't contain the lies. Semi pro with bowling, I'm a very special guy. Give you that game over and you cannot hit retry. Tell that bitch bye, yeah these girls are way too dry. You can call me Frank, when I go to work I drive a tank. You know, I don't discriminate I don't tolerate that common hate Snakes in outer space Fully funded by commercial breaks Listen to me, I swear I'm not fake You know that I will set you straight You can call, you can call me Frank When I go to work, I drive and a I don't You know, I don't discriminate I don't tolerate that common hate. I don't Snakes in outer space. Fully funded by commercial breaks. Listen to me, I swear I'm not fake. You know that I will set you straight. Morning, Lisa. How goes the uh, comet deletion progress? Fully funded by commercial breaks. Listen to me, I swear I'm not fake. You know that I will set you straight You can call, you can call me, me Frank. Frank When I go to work I, I drive and a I tank don't You know I don't discriminate me. I don't tolerate that common hate I don't Snakes in outer space Fully funded by commercial Any breaks Listen to me, I swear I'm not fake You know that I will set you straight Tetherball. Oh my god, I'm queen. So the nuns cut the tetherball off? What nuns, baby? I never played tetherball. Runners against God. Runners against God. You have pled guilty to the practice of tetherball. But such a plea is not sufficient to spare your life. Take a couple hours, make some bagels taste sour, then I take a shower. Here we go again. Amazon unboxing till it makes me feel better. Then I'll cover up the comments like some stretches in my sweater. Ready? Ain't felt this good since I broke up with Becky. I get my toy for it on, I'm feeling sexy. Like Miss my pill reminders cause I'm on too many meds. Yeah, I gotta stay in bed, but I'm feeling good. <laughs> I don't do my taxes. I might need some help. I don't plant a garden, I get lettuce off the shelf. I don't want to work hard, I just want the clout. I don't like my girlfriend, so I'll switch them out. I don't wear a seatbelt, it only slows me down. When I order Uber Eats, I gotta have the hash brown. Yeah, I got a couple lawsuits, I had to leave town. I don't have a license, my girl drives me around. Target haul, Torrid haul, don't check the price, I got it. That money's stacking up like those calories I count. So Hello. <laughs> hey everyone, sorry for the uh, terrible connection quality. I don't really know what's going on with that. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and start by uh, just taking this off. <laughs> Hey everyone. Yeah, so my computer connection quality is really bad. I don't really know why it's so bad. Um, trying to improve things, but uh, it's just been. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. But <clears throat> as you can see, we have uh, two videos ready to go here. We have Elvira which is a classic of the Amberverse. I think everybody knows about Elvira. And then I've got a new one from Tammy where she makes some uh, Halloween spider necklaces, which I thought were pretty good. You know, nothing too crazy there. But 
without further ado, I'm not even sure how good this live stream is going or if there's anyone here anymore because of the terrible connection quality, but I know it will be a video later, so whatever. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get started on Elvira here. So here's some more preparation for the party. We're making the hot dogs. The hot dogs? How do you mean? The fingers. <laughs> the finger. Here's uh, the spinach dip. Here's the salsa. That was all made by him. Yeah. <laughs> I opened the jar and poured it in there. I love seeing um, Ricky on the, on the videos, putting, man. Uh, the tortilla chips in. Here's the bowl that we're going to be putting the Doritos in. And then we're going to be using this platter for the... Um, I'll show you guys. I swear to God, I have that same platter. Oh, and Becky made um, this like fruit uh, pizza thing that we were telling her about a long time ago before, but since she doesn't like sour cream or cream cheese or whatever, she uh, used marshmallow fluff for it instead. Um, for the cracker tray thing that we have. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm okay. It's not in the fridge. Where'd it go? Dude, their countertop reminds me so yeah, much of my parents' house. It's weird. That. Should you be doing that right now? I'm just going to like place it on there because like it's like an hour till everybody gets here i was saying it's an hour should the meat be in the fridge up until the moment but oh i'm, I'm gonna put it on the tray and then put it back in there okay well whatever ricky knows but yeah ricky knows hard. eric Everything's going pretty well i'm gonna have to go get changed and uh do my hair because i don't want to like this i'm gonna straighten it and then i'm gonna put some of my face paint on put my little ears on and start getting in my costume here in a second, so I'll see you guys uh, once everything's coming together. What's this costume gonna be? Oh, here's my oh my god! <laughs> We're not wearing just, teeth. Just no, rolls no, in there. She's gonna be saying that in a couple years. I, I was just thinking, of those old people—they're probably like, "Where are my dentures?" <laughs> yeah, so I was like, "She's yeah. gonna be saying that in a couple years." <laughs> <laughs> what on earth is this costume, you all? You know it was. You're not gonna smile with them? No, it looks bad. What? <laughs> it looks bad. Come on. It's like, like it's she like knows it looks bad. She's, she's like. <laughs> you gotta show them. You gotta... <laughs> there, yeah, there you go. Yeah, like that. <laughs> oh, and her, her cape. <laughs> she said she doesn't it's, want to do blood like running out of her mouth. Oh my god, I feel like my lipstick's getting in here. For this. It's not even the cape. Oh, it's the, the uh, <laughs> it's the big <laughs> collar. That's yeah, what's so weird it's about it. Like Eric's camera. I'm letting you guys know what Chubbs and Trixie are for Halloween. Trixie's a hot dog. <laughs> it's Winky. I have that same hot dog outfit for my dog Sam. Chubbs I'll put him in it. Chubbs. Chubbs. Look at him and his little tuxedo. Isn't he cute? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> He's wearing it backwards. Is he supposed to wear it backwards like that? Is he? Oh. Wow. <laughs> she borrowed Chubbs' uh, <laughs> unicorn costume. Chubbs is. Well, I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen him. And Trixie's in there. Being a pouty little baby. Oh my god, he's Pikachu. She don't like it, but this is mine. I, we were going to make Clover Pikachu this year, but we just didn't have time. I was going to be Ash Ketchum. Oh, well, it was going to be Misty. I'm painting my face and putting like the red there. Since, you know, I don't know though. Who cares? Who cares? Paint just like the red there. Yeah. Probably do that. Do you think I should paint my whole face yellow or just do the red? I mean, I think it'd be more entertaining if you painted your whole face yellow. I like their Evil Dead poster. No, it's, uh, like, I'm so hot. I think it's alcohol. So we're just going to do a really quick walkthrough that you guys see what it all looks like after this uh, all this Halloween stuff gets put together. It looks dark. Can't see shit. <laughs> it's dark. Are they doing like a haunted house or something? I'm I'm unaware of the context of this video.
rough. It really reminds me of like a school dance or like something like that. Nice touch. Nice touch with the TV. That was a good one. There's the blood on the broken glass cake. Hold on a second. Hang on a second. Does that not glass cake? Gotta check that camera. I gotta check the camera. Ooh, She's the using. I'm excited for y'all. <laughs> Here's the blood. That was the exact same camera. <laughs> That's the exact same camera that she's been using. <laughs> she's had the same camera for years. Here's the blood on the broken glass cake. Uh, Does that not look awesome? Actually, yeah, that's pretty good. I wonder if that's like raspberry or something. <laughs> that's classy, y'all. Oh, that's classy, y'all. <laughs> that looks cool, the glass. Doesn't it? It's supposed to be a little bit more clear. I don't think yeah. I let my sugar cook long enough. But the woman on the video is like, as soon as your sugar starts turning color, immediately take it off. She said you can also use this blood. Hey, Jelly. Of your, uh, <laughs> and it's 100% edible. But what is it? Yeah, like who gives a shit about this terrible table? <laughs> I do you not laugh at Becky doing that? <laughs> This is all fine and all. I like making. I like. I'm kind of into like making our own decorations and stuff. I didn't even notice the fox either until she pointed it out. I like how big that one is though. I don't know where you put it, but I like how big that one is. You can tell how this video has aged. I'm not creative enough to create stuff like this. Sorry, what? Do you want me to advertise you on here? Sure. Or is my sign up there, Becky? She's so talented. <laughs> she made all of this stuff. I couldn't, even if I tried. I think I'd be too aggravated. <laughs> yeah, it just reminds me of like a basic trade show here in Kentucky. Pretty tough. Cover for the one that I always, whenever I vlog. Oh, uh, you know what? I didn't even think about Come On Eileen being on this stream. Damn it, that's gonna be the monetization. The lies. We actually bought it. We decided. It wasn't... She lowered it from, like, 25. She was asking 25 for it and lowered it to 20. And if you guys know me, fall is my favorite season, so... Why not? I just wish it was more earlier into the month of fall, so we'd have more time to be able to put it up. But I'm gonna put it up until, like, the last moment. Probably leave it up until Thanksgiving, even. That is really where weird. Put it? It looks like it's a yeah, big about, like, tomato wreath. Put it on there and just hang it up on the door. I really like the fox in it. And I really like that little pumpkin. Like that little bejeweled pumpkin. Yeah, that's how really cool. Pretty. Why are there all those tomatoes on it? That's weird. Do you yeah, like it it's nice. I like it a lot. And it's really pretty, like I said. It, so, it's nice. Like, I like it a lot. I can't wait to get home and I like you a lot, Ricky. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, it's me, Ricky. Uh, today, <laughs> I'm going to show you guys this thing that Eric came across on Facebook. That funny? And it sounds really good because it, where it's getting really cold and it's starting to turn off and stuff. Turn off cool and chilly and stuff. Uh, so it's kind of like a crock pot chicken noodle soup. So let's get to it. <laughs> 
All right. Uh, this recipe is really, really simple, actually. Like, it's a lot simpler than what I thought it would be. Four things. I'm down for Chef Ricky here. Why are you dressed like butters? Says, so like I said, guys, this recipe is really easy. It calls for 15 ounces, but I cannot find 15 ounces anywhere. Neither can Harris. We look really hard. 15 ounces of, uh, well, two 15 ounce cans of uh, chicken broth. 14 and a half. Sure you don't have to have like cans, but the recipe calls for at least trying to boil it down to a tea. I'm pretty sure you could grab like a, one of those little box, little carton of broth. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's what we do. But I do. mean, like, whenever I make a recipe for the first time, I like to try to stick as close to the recipe as possible. That way, where I can see where I can tweak it and make it my own. And then that's fine, change, but it's uh, a one. It's change. one ounce. <laughs> mm, that's not even helping. <laughs> that sounded healthy. Uh, it said a stick of butter, but I'm a nut for uh, two tubs of butter. So there's two. And then four. And then you add your chicken breast. It says a pound of chicken breast. Uh, me personally, I'm cool with uh, two chicken breasts. I think that should be two pounds. Uh, we'll let you keep you guys positive. That's you so funny. Six or seven hours. He's not we'll used to vlogging. Okay. Right. He's not used to it. Yeah, we're gonna be getting some chicken breast over here. Some, uh, so you look hours over and here. 40 minutes later, <laughs> we have showered since then. Uh, do you want me to shred? Can you hold the camera? Um, it's, it's, yeah, if you, if, it's just whatever. Yeah, today was the first time I shaved in like a month. Um, I mean, I can shred it. I'm gonna wash my hands. Wash your hands. So, like I was saying, um, it's like five and some odd hours later, and, um, I took the chicken out about 40 minutes ago so it could cool off so I could shred it because I don't know if you guys have ever shredded chicken. It's a bitch and a half when it's hot. Well, duh. Well, I mean, nobody told me. They have a thing. They have a... Fuck the vine. Fuck the vine, bitch. I don't know. You just take it and shred it. It's cold in there. Oh, well, I'm going to try using a fork. What are you doing? Making din-din. Din-din. Should be. Or a little bit thinner. A little bit thinner. So I'm generally not a big fan of shredded chicken. I don't know why. For some, and now I'm just some reason, it just makes me kind of a little sick. Uh, Always has. Yeah, I'm going to separate. They cook in the crock pot. That's why it takes two hours. Yeah, but I'm thinking if we like put that in there. It'll get done quicker. I'm hungry yesterday. Oh, this is from Eric and Ricky's channel. Sometimes I like to watch their vlogs because they just have weird stuff. Recipe, but, uh, I don't know where you buy frozen egg noodles at. So we just got these um, extra wide egg noodles right here. And um, instead of like letting them cook, instead of letting them cook in the crock pot with the stuff, or with the chicken and the soup mix and stuff like that, I think I'm just gonna like put it in a pot by itself and like whenever it gets done, it's like, I think you cook this for like eight minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nine to eight minutes. And uh, after the nine to eight minutes is up, I'm gonna just put, like drain them and then just put them in the pot and then like let them sit for another like maybe 30 minutes or something so the noodles get the flavor of the soup and stuff and then we'll be eating. I don't know if that's a good that's idea. That seems like it can make them soggy. So it is. I don't know. It's been a couple days since. Uh, we made that. Okay. Yeah. Great. What's going on? <laughs> since we made that chicken noodle soup, but um. Okay, I think it did get finished off. I was, I was gonna show you guys what it turned out to look like, but apparently it got finished off and got ate. Got eaten. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. It's been eaten. Uh, so I was gonna show you guys that, but I'm so sorry. My brain, I've just been so like fried and frizzled lately. 
Um, I've just been going to like all these doctor visits. Um, I'll talk more about that in like probably one of like my next videos or something like that because I'll give you guys. This a lot is more weird. Since I've been going to my doctor's appointments, and I'll just give you guys like more quick of a briefing and what's going on and so far what I've been learning. But I'll just this is weirdly to relevant. Because I know that's where I left off in my last and in, in the vlog is where I was telling you guys we're making the chicken noodle soup. Everybody ate it. Everybody enjoyed it. Um, I didn't realize it until afterwards that it's actually um, from a where I found it was a Facebook uh, web page or page on Facebook for uh, very few ingredients. And I didn't realize that. So the purpose of it was to feed a family with only a few ingredients, you know, to stretch it and make it last. And I didn't realize that. So we didn't do like any carrots, any uh, onions, which Becky doesn't like onions, but she doesn't like carrots either. I didn't realize that. <laughs> but um, we just didn't spice it up the way that we wanted. We strictly just followed the recipe down to a T. So, I mean, it was good, but it tasted like it was missing something and everybody agreed on that, so. I don't know, but next time that we make it, we'll probably just tweak it and add it and make it our own version and add like carrots and onions and all that because I don't know if they're going to eat it with us next time. I mean, Amberlynn might because she likes all that stuff, but Becky doesn't, so I don't know. But I'm going to wrap this vlog up for you guys right here, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one and look forward to the next one, and I'll see you guys then. Bye! Alright, that was, that was a very good way to end that vlog. Just Becky didn't like it. I bet Amber, Amber will like all of it, just... I always think it's funny, the subtle ways that Eric just sort of outs Amber in his vlogs. It's, <laughs> it's always, like, pretty harsh, but funny. I tell you what, man. We've got one... One other video to watch. This one's a little shorter. But the reason why I pulled this one is because I actually really enjoy Tammy Lemon's content. Uh, I think it's very encouraging. Um, and this last one, she was making some necklaces. Uh, necklaces, and, or she was making a necklace and some earrings. And, you know, I was thinking like, okay, well, you know, we'll, we'll take a look. But they turned out really good. Like, pretty damn good. And that's coming from me as a woodworker. I think I left a comment on her video that was like, I'm a woodworker, looks good. Um, <laughs> but I liked it. Thought I'd put it in a live stream if I could. So here we are. We'll devote 11 minutes to Tammy Lemon here. I think she's pretty cool. Ah, Lim Fam. Also, she does these these Halloween specials, Hello, and I'm down. Hello, Fam. So, welcome to my second October special, my second Halloween special. Today, I want to make some jewelry with you. Like, I want to make a necklace, I want to make some earrings, maybe a bracelet, we'll see. So, um... Yeah, this is just my introduction. I am in the middle, by the way, of painting my extra spare room. I want to repurpose it as my YouTube studio area where I can just edit and I want studio. to buy a white desk where I can do all my artsy stuff because I do love my artsy stuff. But yeah, I'm not there yet, so I'm just working. Well, I'm I'll starting show you. To like your at artsy the moment, I'm well. just sitting at my dinner table and I have like just some papers stuck together to just like, you know, give it like a clear surface where I can do my work so that you can see what I'm doing. I do have a lot of wonderful supplies, so let me show you. By the way, I just have taken a shower, so my hair is still wet. Um, so I have these like little <sighs> cat hair covered utensils. I don't know, like tools. I've got this tool right here. This is just for cutting the thread that I'm working with. And I, I also got these, utensils. I think the word's <laughs> pliers to just like squeeze these beads that I do have. I will show you them. So you saw me buy these before. I have these beautiful glass beads. I think it's glass, I still don't know for sure, but I have black ones and I have the blue oily ones. You will see what we're going to use them for. Then I also oily. have some beads. I did have quite some beads, but I also purchased some beads in the colors of like Halloween scheme. So I have the orange, the purple, green, blue, dark blue, and black. I think I'm primarily going to use these beads. I will put on the screen how these are called. These are glass beads like really really tiny ones i think they're like 1.5 millimeters really really tiny mm. i also have yo it's a sticker 
Okay, <laughs> take two. I also have these beads. These are a little bit more shiny, a little bit more like lighter colors, but they're also really, really pretty. So I'm probably going to use these too. Then I have these some are my beads regular laying beads. around because I used these to do this as a kid. These are my middle schooler beads. Okay, I have to be careful because otherwise all the beads will mangle and oh my God. So these are the beads that I still have from when I last worked with these beads. I think the last time I worked with the beads was when I was... I don't know, like about 16 or whatever. So I, Holy I crap, do have quite I was some right. beats, but they're not that expensive. So if you want to get some beats and follow my, let's call it a tutorial. I don't know where I got this from. Probably, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. It's really old too. But this is really, really, really thin uh, threads made of like uh, iron, I think. It has to be really thin because these glass beads, the hole that's inside there is so, so super tiny. That's about everything that I'm going to use, I think. I was actually wondering I what that was. Because it looked like thread. Stuff. It acted By like the way, lot. like really random, I found this little matchbox. It's so cute. It says it's from Sweden. That was actually pretty cool. <gasps> Yuki, what are you doing? Oh my god. Seriously. Stop it. Get some help. I also have some supplies like these rings. I have some of these earrings. I have some of these earrings. I hope I hope you can see it. And also very, very important are like shop. these little beads. These are like just beads, but I use the pliers to just squeeze them. And that's to hold things in place, to hide little knots that you're making in the thread, stuff like that. So they're pretty important too. Okay, so what am I going to do? I have not thought about it too well. I do have something laying here that I made when I was 14. I'm not going to show you because it's a spoiler. So first Why of all, not? I'm going to just decide. Like, am I going for the hoop earring? Like, the, not the hoop, but like, am I going for these earrings or am I going for just like the, the little tiny normal ones? I think I'm going for the really tiny ones. They also have this hook attached. So that's really, really, uh, that comes in handy. Let's see, if you put it in your ear, the ring will be like this. So the earring will be like this. So I, I do need an extra little hoop. I'm sorry that I didn't plan this out better. <laughs> I'm just doing it on the go. But like I haven't been doing this stuff since I was 14. I was working on that uh, necklace. <gasps> Yuki! But that was another type of thing. Like I didn't know how to make them before. I just looked some YouTube and internet and I learned how to do that. But I haven't That's made the like these earrings. That's the thing the that I'm going it. to do now, um, the shapes, I haven't worked with that since I was 14, 15, 16 maybe. I don't know. So let's start. And thank you so much for watching. I really, really enjoy doing this too. It also hey. really helps me to get out of my bed and to yeah. do you something wanna pop in for a second? fun. I don't really myself. have a lot of viewers right so, now, but it's a, <clears throat> you know. Let's start. We're watching Tammy Lemon's video. Oh, hey. Hey, guys. This is, this is the benefit of watching you guys late at night <laughs> get to see a little baby. <laughs> Who should be sleeping. Hello. Oh, wow. uh, <laughs> well, Tammy's making some spider necklaces. Yeah. <laughs> you want to see. Tammy. Yeah, the other day when I saw this, I actually thought, this is really good. I thought that Tammy was like, pretty good at this. This is like an actual trade. This is Halloween crafts? Mm hmm. <laughs> okay. She's like, let me just take this massive hair through her mouth. <laughs> okay, so, so far. What are you grabbing? I don't know, by the way, what this is, but. Okay, so far I have this little hoop where the earring is going to go and I have just <laughs> this really boring pattern of like black, purple, right, black, purple, well, black, purple. And I just like winged it. Right. Like if you want, there are one, one two, two, three. A few moments later. Mm -hmm. 10, 11, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12
Yeah, I find this stuff very interesting. Like, I mean, she's essentially made like a crossbow. <laughs> it's already cool. Yeah, I was kind of surprised whenever people were like, no more Legos to Amber. I was like, I like Legos. <laughs> Yeah, if you didn't know, me and Lily are very much into, <clears throat> I, I'd like to say, permanent Halloween. Uh, where it's just all, all, all uh, days of the, of the year, we're just like, it's not scary enough for us. craft work in general. Repeat this step a million times. <laughs> Let's just gloss over. Just gloss over the fact that she just knocked over all the purple beads. Isn't it always really interesting whenever you see someone who's like bigger that does something that's very small or vice versa you see someone smaller that does something very big like the tiny woman blacksmith or like the massive dude who makes tiny little pendants like isn't that so interesting Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> Those are so good. Those are so good. Lily, come take a look at these. <clears throat> Did you see these all the way done? No, not yet. You gotta see these things. First she made like a flower pendant for them to go on. Ooh, nice. Isn't that good? Yeah. It's literally just glass beads and wire. I was like, damn, Tammy. I like, I like the green. She models them here in a second. Cute. Cute. <laughs> she have an Etsy? <laughs> <laughs> she probably should. She's gonna be crafting hey, like fam, this. So this is the result. Like here you see my necklace, my choker. I'm not gonna lie, I could see you wearing those. I worked yeah. so long on this thing I and I it. didn't feel like <laughs> making it a real necklace, so I made a choker out of it with a spider. Right and then here. right here you can see my spider earrings. This is what they look like. By the way, I'm breaking out. I'm on my period and I just have had a binge. So, um, yeah. But this is what it looks like, the end result. So, yeah, if you like this, you can try it at home. It's not that hard. It just takes some time and some patience <laughs> because it's quite a long process. But, yeah, it's really, really cute. I but really that's... liked filming the video. And... But you should remember that, Tammy. Tammy, if you watch this... Remember that. That patience that you have, that in itself is a skill. I swear, no one thinks about that, but having that level of patience takes skill. And making the jewelry. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. There will also be another Halloween special. Um, this one is up a little late, so I have to cram them in here, but um, yeah, I'll definitely be back. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later, Lim Fem. I am a fan. I, I like Tammy Lemon. I, she actually puts uh, effort into her videos. There's, some, there's something to watch. Like, <clears throat> it's agreeable, nice content, just straight up. But I think that that is going to do it for this live stream. I've been going for just a little under an hour. Um, and I really want to get out of this sp <laughs> spider. Oh, not spider. Skeleton. Skeleton outfit. Been, I'm confused. Um, but I would really like to get out of this skeleton outfit now. Uh, <laughs> if you're still here, I'd like to thank you for being here so long. That, you know, <clears throat> it's been pretty cool. But 
I'll say my little spiel and I'll get going. Um, normally I would play some guitar, but I don't think I can really do that right now with my gloves. So thanks very watching. Thanks very much for watching this special episode live stream of You Guys Have to Realize. I'd like to remind everyone that these videos are put out for entertainment purposes only. Please do not send any hateful or disparaging remarks to myself or anyone mentioned in the videos. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I got that commentary. It's going, so you know, stay tuned. But thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you all later.